Hello YouTube, it's me here again, um, we have done a video with this engine before, this one is the Sato 84 Archery, gas version, um, with a new modified intake. The last video that I did with it, I had a WT Warbler carb on it, this video is with the original carb. As you can see, it's back in place. Um, same prop. Um, I haven't able to uh, verify the top RPM I'm getting, if it's the same as the uh, previous video. But when I finish this video, I will go through it and make sure to see and put a comment in the video um, description. Um, the way how the carb set up, it don't have a return spring as the Warbur carb, so it's really unsafe when you do it alone. So I have a carbon push rod with a silicone tube to stop it from going full throttle when I start it from the vibration. Um, that's the reason why I haven't got the uh, max RPM characters yet, because it's just me alone doing the video holding the, the camera starting the engine operating the throttle um, maybe in the future we'll get a tripod where i could do everything safely but for now i want to stay safe um, so again this is the sato 84 um, fg84 r3 this engine is ian's um, good mate of mine now he's sent it in for me i uh, did the intake modification on it and um, so I'm really appreciated he did that in order for me to get that design so I'm gonna do a final test run on this and return the engine back to him with the original carb on it as how he wanted so regular stuff this is the uh, Kelio exhaust ring and note again this uh, intake will help um, the mid-range performance and um, the fuel distribution to each cylinders as well um, that's the reason behind of the new design on the intake really I got quite a lot of questions what's the difference is and a lot of people email me and tell me on their engines this cylinder here is flooding quite a lot as well and with this intake that takes all the problem out so this cylinder won't be flooded anymore or anything like that so I'm gonna give it a start the battery is plugged in there I'm using a um, two cell 4.7 volts there everything is plugged in give it a start and see how it goes okay
Okay. As you can see, um, from the idle to top RPM, it's really good. I don't think that's the top RPM for this engine. Still can go a bit more, but as what I said, it, um, it's for my safety. Um, I think it's it haven't been fully open because of the uh, push rod setup here, and I want to stay safe on on this uh, engine because I'm using the holding the camera in my hand at the same time the air that comes from the prop there it's it's kind of a bit of scary working on that unless you know someone is here but we just in case you know, we could call the ambulance or stuff like that um, especially with a size engine like this 84cc I don't like to play this is not a toy um, so that's all I'm, I'm getting for now um, when I could do it in a safe environment, I would get the max RPM on this engine with the Sato um, original FG84 carb. Um, so, okay, I think that's it. Um, the fuel I'm running at the moment because the engine is still brand new is 20 to 1. That's my mix. Um, different people have different mixes and oil and stuff like that. Um, could get quite complicated when you sort of talk about mixtures and stuff like that but that's my mix there if you feel happy going with a higher contain do so yourself and um, your own risk so again in the description of this video you will find uh, links to take you to the intake so you could um, convert uh, either your 84 or your FA-450 R3, the same intake fits as well. There's two different um, listing on my website, so you will see the difference when you go on it. Okay, that's it. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Cheers.